So Tom and Jimmy, and what day is today? Today, Tom, is New Helmet Day. Look at that. New Full Face Helmet Day, to be precise, because today we are going to show y'all the new-ish fantastic Full Face Helmet from Endura. Endura. It's part of the MT500 collection, and there's a lot of features on this. Yeah. So Tom has kind of come to my forest to check out this bad boy. So this is my first time to see it. So first impressions, straight out of the box. It's, it's very light. light. It's very it's light. light. How light is this, Tom? Uh, what is this? Was it 640 grams? 640 for a full face helmet. It's like this thing could float. Yeah, I'm, I'm really excited about this uh, design on this because this is something that you can wear, let's say, if you race Enduro and you have to go up the hill and then, of course, do the stages and you don't want to ride without a helmet up but you still don't want to boil yourself while riding up so this is a really nice helmet for transitions yeah. also. And the first thing I notice is like huge big vents. Yes. That lets the air flow in. Oh, there's a green thing here. Can you see that? And the green stuff inside, that's called choroid. It looks a bit like, uh, you know, a pack of straws. Uh, and the idea is that it absorbs the energy in case of an impact. So that's the whole gig with that. Yeah. Uh, and it's, it, yeah, it's the same kind of a principle to it as MIPS or wave cell or something else. This is their take on this. Uh, it's been uh, tested plenty and, you know, seems to work great. So you've had a little bit of riding time on this. So you've rode from your house to my house. Mm -hmm. How did it feel? Uh, I came to the forest, so I gave it a big uh, uh, shake down. It felt good, uh, very, very light. And you can wear it with sunglasses if you want to go that way. Uh, a lot of space for goggles. I like, you know, how airy it is. So, you know, you, it's easy to breathe with it. Uh, it's not sweaty. You get a nice airflow even here on your temples. So that's uh, very refreshing, I would mm. say. What about the smell test? Smells new helmet. Smells new helmet. Uh, it it's comes it. in black and it comes in forest green. This is forest green. I like forest green. Very fetching, uh, sort of a satin finish to it. It has a, it has a very big peak. That's nice if you're riding in uh, rainy conditions. Uh, it, uh, and the buckle is cool. It has a, it's a magnetic back buckle which seems to be all the craze at the moment. Very nice. So that makes it easy to put it on. You know, trying to fiddle and find this thing. Yeah, and it has adjustments. So, uh, you know, you have your... What do you call this? Adjustable thing. It has an adjustable thing <laughs> in the back. And then you can move the whole, uh, you know, tightening mechanism up and down. So you get a nice fit to it. Uh, it comes with a second set of pads, which is nice. So, uh, you know, you can adjust your cheek pads. Very important. And the other pads is like one big set of pads. Uh, on the inside and then he has two small ones here in the back and then you have your cheek pads so you know it's uh you know easy to to find your kind of fitment uh, i have pretty big helmets so a uh, big head so i need a big helmet so i went for the large slash xl size and i changed to the bigger pads so you know i got a real nice fit and it fits really nice around my jaw i have a pretty narrow jaw so i need big pieces there so you know very nice. Okay. So, any of you guys thinking that a lightweight helmet is not strong, how strong is this helmet? Very strong. It's uh, rated for downhill. Um, we'll see. I don't know if we're going to see in the World Cup, but you know, it's plenty strong. So, you can wear this in the park, uh, on the trail, yep. you know, I think even in, in national races, of course. Exactly. And, uh, and I definitely think like the Enduro series will. Yeah, most deaf Enduro stuff. This helmet comes across as a very lightweight helmet and something that you can wear all day long. But what do you think? Is it something you would wear on the regular trails out in the forest? Yes, because I'm a strong believer in Murphy's Law. So, you know, if you think that you're not going to crash and you don't need protection and you leave it home, then you're going to end up in a hospital. So I do wear a full face helmet when riding on trails, you know, because uh, if I think about should I wear a full face or not, I usually put on a full face helmet if I decide not to wear one because that's when you likely to crash and my son he always wears a full face when riding his five 
he always wears a full face helmet riding in the woods with me and I want to set a good example to him so we always wear full full face helmets mm -hmm. when riding together mm -hmm. it's funny people think that you know full face helmets are only for races where I do see that you know you should be wearing this if you want to you know work in your race speed or you're going for some gnarly stuff or you know you just want to you know play safe and uh, save your pretty face then uh, full face is the way to go so I, I you know I, I think we're going to be seeing that a lot like outside of races too yeah yeah okay so that's our out of the box on the mt500 enduro lead go check it out uh yeah black and green lightweight really nice and Fresh. we'll be updating you guys during the season of what we think about this helmet and yeah how it feels see y'all on trails Right, then run away into the forest. Did you have the fucking coconut so you could do it with?